This is my randomology, and today we're going to find out why is nature so scary? <laughs> Lovely, dark, and deep. Uh, from a Robert Frost poem. Um, uh, somehow that's the title for this, and I, from what I understand, this is a cosmic horror uh movie uh maybe not necessarily lovecraftian but it's in that same genre you know things ancient things living in the earth and stuff like that that's pretty much all i know except for the fact that the main reason i want to watch it is that it's cosmic horror and i'm trying to do cosmic horror movies this month for uh you know lovecraft's birthday um uh, but it also starts stars georgina campbell who I last saw here on the channel uh, when I did Barbarian like a year and a half ago, and she was amazing in that. So I, I'm very excited to see what she's going to do on this one. So nothing else to say, but let's watch Lovely, Dark, and Deep. And like always, if you like what you're watching, go ahead and uh, hit that like, subscribe button. Uh, you can also go over to Patreon to get early access to all these videos. Or if you don't have a Patreon, you can become a premium member here on YouTube to get early access as well. All right. Uh, a little bit of uh, illusion. I like that. Same as the title. Is this 109? Is 109 about to retire early? Barney, are you there? Over. Yeah, Barney, what are you doing? Uh, this national park has a steep entrance fee. Any rangers near Barney's station? Can anybody confirm the status of 109? Over. Uh, 109 appears to have lost his goddamn mind. I forget what the subgenre of cosmic horror is that's specifically about like out of the country and things like that. Uh, I, I'm blanking on the term right now, but it's the fact that that one seems to be the the one that any one of us could experience at any given time just by going away from the city. And I've miles miles to go before I sleep. I always appreciate a good literary illusion like that. And if you read the poem, like, there's, I, I can see how it might apply to this if I think the plot is what I think it is. Ah, where'd you come from? You, uh, you gonna move Bambi out of the way there, or? That was a little kid's voice, right? I, and the deer's gone. See, right there already, I'm already feeling uneasy. I would not keep going. I would turn my happy ass around and go home. I'm sure there's a Marriott around somewhere. Day. A lot for you to remember. And oh, hey, she was in uh, you know, uh, 90 days The Defenders in the and Daredevil. Any questions? Uh, yeah, what's the average survival time okay. for Rangers around here? Some are a couple of nights. <laughs> you should see the amount of stuff you spot. You'd think we were moving out there. <laughs> I don't think you're leaving. Park. Your family must be so proud of you. <laughs> yep. I don't think they are, given that tone. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the opportunity to spend just three months by yourself out in country like this, there's, I can see the appeal for it. But I'm an indoor cat, all right? <laughs> I uh, I could do this for a couple... I have done this for a couple of days. Um, no. No, I've been declawed. No. I mean, look, if I didn't have, you know, a family to care for or anything like that, I wouldn't mind doing this if only for the chance to actually... You know, get some get some time to write or read, and holy shit, that's uh, Varney's cabin from the beginning. It's not even a cabin; it's a tent. Did they get at least like supply drops or something? I was gonna ask, do you at least have a gun? Not that it's gonna do any good against some of the stuff out here, but whatever. Oh, okay, so she's in, she's. She's looking for some. Okay. Jenny let it. Okay, sister, daughter. Uh, okay. Everybody who's stayed here? Birds don't run. Um. I. That's a lot of trust to put on people. <laughs> 
I hope you have a solar charger for that thing, because... All of a sudden, that person who is just right beside you, they're gone. No Wait, sound, didn't they say that they didn't no have screen, Wi-Fi or anything like that? Just... It's a recording. You can record these things. The largest granite field is in Arborist National Park. The largest collection of missing people anywhere in the world is in Arborist National Park. So are they trying to imply that it's one of those Lovecraftian things of like ancient stone structures and things like that? Like, we don't realize how old they are. So they don't even know how many people have gone missing? They don't know. Well, we know what's happening, but nobody's talking about it. Do we know? And their shoes are gone. What's with the shoes? Yeah, that's, that's weird. Okay, yeah, what is with the shoes? That's what it's, Are they being abducted by Quentin Tarantino? Ew. It, the movie's moving slowly, but not in a bad way. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting the... That's her, right? 114? Forgot batteries. I keep watching that uh, charger on her, on the back. I'm afraid it's gonna fall. God damn it, Bambi! That's not normal function. Um... Ah, neighbor! <laughs> you get yourself lost? You get what? Those things next to worthless. Yeah, I. She's kind of uh, weirded out by the fact that it was working without the batteries. Oh, Want to get some dinner? I know a great spot. Come on. She'd be safer with a bear. Are you kidding me? Spoiled me. I don't think I'd be much good at anything else. I mean, look, if, if you like being outdoors and all this other stuff, this is like this is a great gig. Are you kidding me? Everyone out here is at least a little bit crazy. I mean, you kind of have to be to want to be alone for three months at a time. I'm sorry? Sleep. Some people have a problem with it out here. Actually, yeah, first time I was ever out outside of a city was a uh, ranch that belongs to some family. We were in the ranch house, but the amount of noise outside just... <laughs> Extras. Thanks. Hey, if you need to be it out, your radio. Worthless as they are, safe as nothing. And yet I have a feeling they're not going to amount for jack shit in this movie. Anyway, what I was saying a, a minute ago was that uh, the movie's moving slowly, but not in a bad way. Like, uh, it's definitely setting up its environment, characters, a little bit of creepy, just enough to kind of, you know, whet the appetite. But the movie is only about an hour and a half, and we're already about, what is this, 22 minutes through. So I'm expecting things to start ramping up in the next 10 minutes. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Music's a little disturbing. What is with the bird talk? I was about to ask earlier, how do they even shower, but... So, was it daughter or sister? I got the impression that it was a daughter, but I... Okay, so she keeps doing this, like, going out for days at a time, looking for... something? Okay, the routine, the days just melding into each other, just like any other job, really. Jeez. The, the, These shots are really simple, but they're also really unnerving. Who the fuck are you? What's going on? What's the problem? Open the door! Open the door! Uh, get your gun first. I need you to let go of my arm. Okay. Okay, let go of my arm. Also, you might want to radio this in. Sir, oh God. wait! Just have a flashlight, no shoes, no gun, no radio. SNR have been dispatched to your ranger station. All call SNR search and rescue? How do they know her name? I'm asking this even though it's supposed to be a Lovecraftian cosmic horror story. She was right there. Who? And what the hell is wrong no, with your she arm? Wasn't. Okay, so it was real. Uh 
There's that at least. Missing girl's name is Sarah Greenberg. Oh wait, no, Sarah's not her name. According. Uh, what, what about me? You stay. I can search. I'm fine. Someone needs to be here in case she comes back. Called it. Jenny. Jenny. Oh God. Jenny. Where the hell's Jenny? Jenny. Oh. Sarah. Jenny. Jenny. Sarah. Mr. Beardsley. Jenny. Little something for the MST3K fans out there. Sarah! Oh, that's cool. Like, they're superimposing the two searches. Well, it gets dark quickly out here. Again, it's not the fear of the dark. It's the fear that you're not alone in the dark. God damn it, Bambi. Yep, that's a magic deer. I, I know a magic deer when I see one, and that's a magic deer. Is that blood? That's blood. Uh, ma'am. I see blood. Ma'am, I'm... Sarah's here, mm -hmm. and yet she's not here. Uh, please tell me she didn't find the tree from Evil Dead. Oh, she's been through it. I'm gonna guess she's been wandering the woods just hallucinating or seeing things that make her question her sanity. Also, they're totally gonna to get after her for uh, leaving the station. Do you want to report that you found her? Hey. Do we need sits? There we go. All right. Just get in here, cat. It's really hard to see him with the... Hold on, I gotta put my headphones on. Daddy's working. Didn't say anything. I'll get her home and make sure she's taken care of. But and she's to gonna get chewed out for abandoning her post, right? I need to do this one myself. And or the rangers actually know what's going on. And... Until then. Yes, but we found her. You found her. So given they found her, and apparently this is part of some kind of sacrifice ritual, I don't know. I'm guessing that whatever's out there is going to be wanting a replacement. I'm going to guess she's nowhere near done with what she wanted to do. So you're going to have to uh, figure this out fast. Okay. You're going to try to like backtrack, like figure out where she came from? Like what's the, what's the plan here? And ah. cue hallucinations. Yep. And now we have to deal with whatever was actually hunting Sarah. Honestly, at this point, I'd rather run into Cocaine Bear. Hey. Oh, what the hell? And there's nobody there. Yeah, once you start getting that modulation, like uh, House on Haunted Hill, that's time to go. What exactly do you think a layer of fabric is going to do to protect you? You should go after him. Okay, copy. That, that wasn't out. Jackson. Or maybe it is. I'm actually 50-50 on the fact that the park rangers are probably in on this. It's impossible. I... It's miles away from... You no. Know, this is where you need to be. What? Yeah... Yeah, she's going to be the replacement because they found Sarah. I'm across the park from where I just was. No, you don't understand. Yeah, you're getting mothman. It's gonna be setting her on a loop or something, isn't it? Like the birds. Again, birds don't run, but why do we keep talking about birds? Is she still halfway across the park? Did she loop around? What the hell is that? Nope. Yeah, yeah, she saved Sarah, so now they need a, a replacement sacrifice? It's blood. Do you have to smear it all over your hands? What? 
is up with her eyes? Yeah, yeah. She screwed something up, and now whatever the old ones of, you know, the California State Park need a replacement. So it's either her or she's got to sacrifice somebody. The park rangers are in on it. They have to be because they were pissed at her for finding her. Radio. Oh, these two. Kind of forgot that we're in this movie. Mr. Finley. You tried touching him? Mr. <laughs> ready for this oh, hey. so why like she's not a ghost right right it's like the trees are growing it's a little disconcerting <gasps> although I was did read that rhubarb apparently grows so fast you can actually hear it I don't know if that's true you're gonna pull a fingernail at this rate hello wait is that the head ranger Simply perform the following steps to guarantee years of satisfactory service. Keep acting. Uh, yeah, she's a uh... easy as pie. Oh, that is unnecessarily creepy. Is she dreaming all this because she hit her head, or is she actually dead? I I'm probably not going to get a straight answer by the end of the movie, but I am curious. Or is this thing with her head actually going to make her do all this stuff, and then at the end it turns out that she hasn't been hunting something, she's the one that's actually been doing all this crap. So she disappeared 20 years ago. So was it her sister? Is that... Had to have been a sister, right? Oh, he's going to be, what, eating her or something? You've really outdone yourself. I mean, look, I like tripas as much as the next person, but... Have you realized you don't have a radio? Okay. Don't do it. You're gonna do it in real life. Do you want to try to at least make it to another ranger station? I know that she probably doesn't realize that it's the rangers that are doing this. I need to find her. In the tree, part of the tree. In the tree, part of the tree. I, I understood that reference. Then keep me. Not that I'm condoning the murder of an innocent elderly couple, but do you know what that entails? You know, them keeping you. Um, no, I'm still not condoning it, but still, I, I would. I need more. I need terms and conditions. And we're back at the lake. Music and visuals of this thing are absolutely beautiful. The one complaint I have so far is that it is moving a little bit slow. Just a little bit, just, just a little bit. Is the, the, the deer again? Oh. Again, Mothman, like she just teleported across miles. Oh, right, what is this thing with the shoes? They keep mentioning that all the, they keep, they keep yeah. finding shoes, but. Uh, why? The hell is this? Childhood home? Yeah. <laughs> See, anything involving kids, I'm already on edge. Again, if you're a parent, this stuff hits different. Oh, that's the head ranger, right? Yeah, I mean, they're basically letting her know, like, the rangers are all in on it. Oh, God, what are you eating? Oh, ah, that's my nightmare whenever I pull a cuticle. So they have to bury an empty casket? Oh, her parents... Do not tell me the parents blamed her for this. God damn it. I just realized there's a park rangers that are sitting here. Yep, there's a deer. Sacrifice, right? Something very PT about this. How do you catch a squirrel? Nuts. 
You climb a tree and act nuts. Okay, I was half right. What? Oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, no. Yeah, he, uh. Oh, God. So clearly, this took a toll on the whole family, and, uh. Oh, my God. Why is whatever is living in the woods showing her all this? Is, is it just a dick? Somebody's gonna be standing there. Yeah. Well, that's not possible, but sure, why not? Everything else in here has been a wide awake Silent Hill nightmare. I never stop looking for you. They keep us here. Who's they? Somebody's gotta be using proper pronouns. It's proper nouns, Jesus. Is, is Zang actually going to give her an explanation to what the hell's going on here, or are we just going to be left hanging? I mean, if she's going to, like, become part of the forest or something, the least she could get is an explanation. And who the hell's chasing her? Are, are you real? I'm real. Uh, really bad news. They take. And we let them. Who? The old ones? But what I know they live here where it still gets dark. It gets dark every night. You'll see the stars. Oh, yeah, there it's definitely a Lovecraftian uh, abomination. They usually give us a chance to explain. But not her? What, she's too hard headed? I regret her most. I would find another job. I'm not going to let them take you. Oh, now after what, 30 years, now you're growing a conscience? Nope, that touch. That touch. Does it worry you how deep this is? It worries me. My ears pop just looking at this. How are you going to write up the report for this one? Is, uh... Jackson, you dick. You just got lost. He means in a literal and metaphorical sense. I got you. Okay. There's like ten minutes left. What else is there to do? Figure out. I mean, she's not gonna figure it out. There's no what. What the hell are these? Th I, like... Remember. May seem like you're alone out there, but she's going back. She went back. She actually went back. Take nothing but memory. Honestly, I'd go back just to let, set fire to the whole thing. Same goddamn cabin too. Jesus. Coming up behind. Sorry, James, but uh, you're gone. Did they actually put an effort to find people just in case they're missing for like perfectly mundane reasons? Why all the flies? Is she gonna let him take him? Are you real? You do gotta wonder because if you ask that to a hallucination, I mean, what the hell's the hallucination gonna say? No. Oh god, she's in on it now. If this many people are going missing in this one national park, why would anybody come back here? Was this like an ancient temple or something? Nah, probably not. That'd be. Yes? No? Why, though? I don't understand why she'd be okay with this. Okay, let's talk about that. Honestly, worst thing I can say about it is that it was just a little bit too slow. Uh, but otherwise, the, the visuals, the music, the acting, everything else, top-notch. Uh, it, it's honestly one of those movies where they're, they're not going to tell you everything. Obviously, they're not going to tell you what these things are, or even give them a proper name, or anything like that. And I'm fine with that. Uh, I, I do like the aspect of the conspiracy. I do wish the mystery had been fleshed out a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's not a bad movie. It just feels like there's a lot of little things that could have been done to make it even better. But the parts that were there, I was fine with, honestly. A uh, little confused as to why she would go along with it, knowing that they took her sister. So, I don't know. Mixed bag. Not a C. Definitely like a B minus flat b i don't know it was fun georgina uh campbell 
always fun to watch. I uh, look forward to seeing her in some more horror. That'd be awesome. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Thank you.